morning and welcome to the Seminoles.com Daily Report for Monday, February 22nd. I'm Scott Kodak. Whenever you score 37 combined runs in a three-game weekend series, good things are bound to happen. And that's exactly what happened to the Seminole baseball team as they kicked off 2010 with a bang, posting three straight victories over Georgia State. All in all, it was a good weekend for the Knolls as Sean Gilmartin, Brian Bush, and John Gast all picked up weekend wins for the Knolls. It was a good opening weekend for us. It's exciting to get this season started. The, the young men are excited. They know there's a lot of baseball in store for them. The Everybody was swinging the bats well, playing good defense. Our, our pitchers threw well, and I think our, our lineup is explosive one through nine. It doesn't matter who's in. It's great. I mean, when we're ahead like that, you, know, you don't have many warriors. The pitchers are... There's not much pressure, so hopefully if we can do that every weekend. That'd be pretty good. But uh, it was real nice to have their own support. The Knolls are back in action this time on Wednesday afternoon at 4 p.m. as North Florida comes in to DeKauser Stadium. It was a weekend of five straight shutouts for the Seminole softball team as they were victorious in the Seminole Classic this past weekend. The Knolls were paced by Tori Haddad and Robin Arberg, and all in all, a great offensive weekend at the plate for the Knolls. We always want to play our best, you know, and. There's a lot of good teams here this weekend, and we just really put everything together. And, you know, once we got rocking a couple runs here and there, you know, it was really nice just to be able to keep adding on and not just settle for 2 to nothing victories. A lot of different people in the lineup came through at certain times, which is really nice to see. You want uh, to rely on one person all the time, so that was nice to see that one through nine were um, you know, contributing to a scoring. So um, really enjoyed it. It was a great weekend weather-wise. It's just nice to be out here, and, and now we can get on the road and, and challenge ourselves a little bit with that. Knowles are back in action this time for their first true road test of the season as they'll head over to Jacksonville to face the Dolphins on Wednesday. The ACC Women's Swimming and Diving Championships wrapped up this past weekend, and Seminoles.com was there for all the action. Highlights included senior diver Terry Horner winning yet another ACC championship, this time on the three-meter board. All in all, it was an impressive weekend for Neil Harper's squad. Yeah, it was a great last night for us. I think, you know, we came through strong. It was probably our best day. We just had some phenomenal swims in the mile, which got us started. I um, mean, Char Charlotte Broadbent, new school record. Um, Marissa Harrington, just, I mean, just a couple of tents behind going that far. It feels amazing. I mean, I've, I've really been working hard. I've worked the hardest that I've worked in my entire life over the last few months. And I'm just really glad and excited to finally see it pay off. We all did a great job. It was a team effort for everything we did. I mean, I couldn't be happier. We had we brought home, I think, seven medals total for the diving. We had three to four people in all, almost every single final. It was absolutely amazing for me. My last event, my last chance to get a medal, I got second, and I, I just couldn't be happier. It was a big weekend for both the men's and women's tennis teams over at the Scott Spiker Tennis Center as the men posted a 5-2 victory over Georgia Tech, and the women were victorious 6-1 over LSU. And finally, the Florida State women's basketball team has hit the road again as they will take on Virginia tonight at 7 p.m. up in Charlottesville. That's it for today. Have a great Monday.